Hi, I'm Graham from Team Flitz. I'm here to talk to you today about our key signature product, Flitz Paste Polish. The polish is designed to clean and restore all metals, paints, plastics, fiberglass, and so much more. I'm going to show you some demos today on those products and show you how the results you'll get from using these products. First off, Flitz is an eco, green friendly, safe product, non toxic, non flammable. It's even USDA certified in the food service industry. So, with that said, let's show you a couple demos on the products. First off, I have a piece of aluminum diamond plate. Take a little bit of the polish. I'm going to take a little tissue here, grab a little bit in, and put it right onto the surface. Hopefully, you can make that out. Just that little bit of polish is all that you need. Grab yourself another clean tissue or paper towel and start buffing it off. Instantly, what you're going to see is the oxidation coming off your metal surface and it'll bring your finish right back out to new within just seconds. Now once this is done, it actually leaves a protected coating right behind it. I just have a little bottle of water here, poked a hole in it for you. And what you'll see, as soon as the water gets on it, it'll bead right up and just roll right off. It does not stick. Hope you can make that out. Another thing Flitz is great for is guns and knives. People always ask, what, on a gun? Is it going to harm my bluing? I'm here to tell you it's not going to harm your bluing, as long as it's factory or hot gun blued. So let's do it again. We'll take a little bit of the polish, and we're going to put it right onto the gun barrel. Again, just a little bit I'm using here. Put it right onto the surface. You don't have to let this set or dry. Grab another clean cloth and start buffing it off. Again, just like we did on the diamond plate, you're going to notice all the oxidation. Now in this case, it's rust. Again, I'm not harming the bluing at all. I'm just taking off the very fine surface rust. And just like that, within seconds, it brings it back to that bright new luster. Again, just like we did on the diamond plate, we take a little water and you're out hunting, duck hunting, pheasant hunting, within seconds, it just beads right up and just rolls right off. Another thing Flitz is great for, brass, copper, even if you're a reloader. We have an ammunition shell here, as you can make out. We're going to take a little bit of the polish. Again, now I said this product is safe. I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my finger. Put it right on the area, just like we did before, and we're going to buff it right off. Just that quick, it's going to clean and restore your metal finish, take off the oxidation that's on it, and bring it right back out to new. Now the nice thing with Flitz is there's no harsh ammonias to it at all, so it's not going to deaden your primer if you do end up putting it in a tumbler. But real quick and real easy, brings you back to that new shine. Another thing I'm going to show you on is jewelry. People ask, can I use on jewelry? Yes, you can, as long as it's original finish. Gold, silver, nickel, platinum, magnesium, sterling silver, and so forth. Take a little bit of the polish. This is a quick, real easy way to do it. Again, I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. It's safe. And I'm going to start buffing it off. Just like we saw on the other finishes, instantly it's going to take off that oxidation and buff it right back off. And within seconds, it brings your finish right back to new. I don't know if you can make this out or not. There's your after. And there's your before. Now this will last you normally on a ring about a month to two months. On your other finishes, three to six months, sometimes longer. It just depends on where it's used and when it's used. So again, jewelry, safe. Now for your boaters, we got summertime coming up. You got oxidized hatches, Isinglass, Lexans. We got a hatch right here, Lexan hatch. We also have piece of Isinglass. What you'll see is when it gets cloudy, chalky, hazy, the Flitz polish will actually clean and restore it and bring it back out to new for you. But I'm going to show you on a hatch here real quick. Same thing, take a little bit of your polish, put it right on the area. Now if your hatch is really, really oxidized, sun-baked, what you could do is wet sand this with a real fine sandpaper, 1,000 grit, 1,500 grit sandpaper. 
will take a real fine layer off. It's not going to harm it at all, but it'll take a real fine layer of the Lexan for cleaning. But just put this on, buff it in real light, and again, buff it off. What you'll see is it will start taking out that clouding or chalking and bring the finish back out to clear vision. I recommend throwing a wax or the Flitz ceramic sealant over the top of it or Flitz Speedy Seal to protect it and give you even a longer life. Also give you even a better water protected uh, coating on there. But real quick, real easy. Another finish we're going to go to is stainless steel. Again, summertime's coming up for some of us. Some of us are already into summer almost already. But you got a barbecue grill at home. It's looking pretty nasty. It's been neglected. Hasn't been cared for for a long time. Yep, use a Flitz polish on there. Again, take a little bit of the Flitz polish. Put it right onto the surface. Now you got some rust spots, hard water stains, burnt on residue from over time, tree sap, bug guts maybe that got on it, bird poop. Take this and start buffing it right off. Just as we saw before, it starts taking off the oxidation and it'll bring your finish right back out to new. And just as the other finishes, you get a little water on it, barbecue grill's not covered up, it starts raining, you get that thunderstorm, boom, just rolls right off, does not stick. All right, probably asking, what about if I collect antiques? I got some old copper right here, copper boiler. Some of you might be familiar with something like this. Take a little of your Flitz polish, put it right on the area. You can see almost immediately, it already starts working. Just buff it right back off. Again, we're taking off all that heavy oxidation that's been on it over time. And voila, like brand new. All right, some of you probably have some problems with your headlights. That seems to be a major problem out there. And you're asking yourself, what can I use? You got it. Flitz will do that for you. It will clean them up and restore them, just like it does on a Lexan or an Isinglass. Uh, when it comes to a headlight, what we recommend is if it's in really bad shape, wet sand it. What I have here is a product called Merca. It's a uh, sanding disc. We actually provide these in our headlight restoration kits. But you can take this, get a little water onto the area. So if it's really yellowed, cloudy, chalky, hazy, take this and just start wet sanding the area. You're going to look and go, man, it works even worse than it did originally. Don't worry, we're going to clean it up. We're going to make it look like brand new. Wet sand that. Buff it right on off. Again, it looks even worse. Take a little of your polish, put it right on the area. You don't have to let this product set up or dry. And buff it right off. One thing I didn't mention, on the Flitz polish, it has indefinite shelf life. Once again, indefinite. It never goes bad, it never dries up. If you get into one of these larger sizes, it will separate like paint. It is a water-based product, but stir it up, shake it up, it'll come right back out to new for you. But back to this headlight here, and what you'll see within seconds, even just using a tissue, I'm able to clean it and start bringing it right back out to life. I know we talked about boats earlier and Isinglass and Lexans and hatches and things like that, but you probably ask, man, I have an old boat and it's looking pretty faded. What can I use? Yep, more Flitz. Flitz will clean and restore that for you as well. Take a little bit of your polish, put it right on the area. Now, Flitz will not harm the gel coat at all, so you don't have to worry about any damage to that. If it's in really bad shape, we also recommend taking a really fine sandpaper, wet sanding it, putting the polish on, and buffing it off. But just take this, and what you'll see, it will start taking off the oxidation and bring your finish.
right back to life. Now after you do this, we recommend throwing on some of the Flit Sealant product that I mentioned or our Speedy Seal product to give you even a longer life when you're out on the water. Another thing I'm going to tell you about snowmobiles. I know we are just talking about summer, but we'll go back to winter a little bit here. You've got snowmobile tunnels. They're dull. They're oxidized. They get a lot of stone chips on them. Get pretty crapped up over time. Take a little bit of the flitz polish, put it right on the area. Again, just like as we did before, buff it in and buff it right off. Instantly, you're going to start seeing that oxidation lifting off your snowmobile tunnel, and it'll bring your finish right back out to new. Again, this is a more of a high polish tunnel. Some of your tunnels are different, but you can use it on all your tunnels. But it'll help seal and protect it for the next time you're out on the trails with it. Last thing I'm going to show you is silver plate. A lot of products you can use on silver plate. Our product you can. So it comes time to the holidays. You got that old piece of silver. Put it right on the area and buff it right off. Instantly, it removes the oxidation and it brings your finish right back out to new. You'll be the envy of everybody at your next holiday party, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I forgot one thing. We talked about guns and knives. Got an old buck knife for any of your buck collectors out there, knife aficionados. Flitz is great on your knives. Again, I mentioned that Flitz is all eco, green friendly, USDA certified. You put it on a knife, it's not going to kill you or hurt you. But just like on all the other finishes, again, it starts removing your oxidation and it'll bring your finish right back out to new. The nice thing with this is, I wish I could let you feel this and touch it, but if you do this, it makes the finish very slick. The nice thing with that is, especially if you use it on a knife and you're cutting boxes, the tape residue and things comes off so much easier. But as I showed you on the other finishes, get a little water on there, just beads right off. It doesn't stick. Also, on the handles, wood, it's getting oxidized. Flitz works on that as well. Take a little bit of the polish, put it right on the area. It will not harm that finish at all either. Put it on and buff it right on out. Just like on the other finishes, removes the oxidation and brings it right back out to new for you. Well, there's just a couple things you can use flitz for. We have many other things you can use it on. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more product demos on our flitz polish and other products. Thank you so much for checking us out. Have a great one.